Okay. <sighs> pop, pop filter just wants to be an asshole today. See how you are, pop filter. We are back with Jack and Daxter too. Um, I was playing Splinter Cell earlier. Still can't go to sleep. And then uh, read the news about what happened in Sri Lanka. And uh, kind of just need to pick me up and... Well, this is either going to make me sadder or happy. <laughs> One or the other. Not a lot of in-between. I don't, uh, or not, I don't, I'm just checking on the stream right now to make sure everything's running right. Hmm. Weird. And curious. Oh, let's run around for a while. Or run around for a second to make sure everything's working. <laughs> Seems to be working fine, just my uh, ticker is a little slow. As long as it keeps up, it should be good. Of course, it's, it's always if it works, it, it'll work. It always works until it doesn't. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Oh fuck. Had my TV turned down, I couldn't hear anything. Okay, what are, oh fuck, it's the inversion. Oh, I hate it so much. I came out of that portal. Oh yeah, I remember. Go up here, already shot the egg, so I don't have to worry about that. Go down here. Get shot by this guy so I can kill him. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Go over here, get these boxes, get the dark ego or health or whatever. Give him that sweet, sweet health. Yeah, baby. Mess with the terrible inverted controls. Over there. So these four or five guys. I get that now. That dark ego. That good use.
Jump down here to the boxes. There we go, some ammo, and now I'm at full health. There we go. Wait for that fire to go out. Right across here. seconds until it's worthless. It also takes forever to pump it. There we go. It's the ammo I need. My ass there, though. Okay. Ooh, boxes. Oh, I got it. Man, those guys just like, kick my ass. Hold on. I actually put the chat where I can see it. Oh, hey, it's Ronan. Hey, man, what's up? Been a while since you've been on the stream. Like all the cool new effects. Cool new effects. Barely got shit going. Run all hope and a dream. You back from Mexico yet? Oh well. Then I guess that answers that question. so I can sit there and sit. <sighs> I was gonna say I had to sit there and situate and then I died. And then I got mad. I'm back next month. 
Damn. It's been a long time with that stroke. A lot longer than I'd ever want to go. Time for me to start my Indiana Jones stream. Trigger will be all over that. There's the chicken. I would kill that guy without him. same path over and over and over again. Don't sneak up on me. See you. What am I going to do in the eye? I don't know. Probably when I get done with Jack 2 or Splinter so. I have Indiana Jones and the I think it's Emperor's Tomb for the Xbox, which is a prequel to Temple of Doom. Which, okay. And then I have Indiana Jones and Staff of the King, which I played back way back in the day on the Wii. And I got it for the PS2 this time. I love that game. I don't know if I hit the thing. This camera sucks. much better. Infernal Machine for the N64. No, I never played it. Got okay reviews for the PC, but I ain't fucking doing that. But the PS4, ver I mean the PS4. PS4, what the fuck is wrong with me? The N64. <laughs> looks rough. God damn it, I looked down at the chat and got murdered. Okay, when I get down there, I need to go to Dark Jack. I kick some ass. Fate of Atlantis. Yes, I have that too. That comes with... Oh shit, I'm gun out. Fate of Atlantis comes with... Um, Death Kings. I will play that too. So I got three Indiana Jones games. That we play. Very soon. Very, very, very soon. never played Emperor's Tomb, but Funhouse has been playing it, and I'm like, I gotta get this fucking game. Just like with Rise to Honor, it's like, I gotta get this game, and then I got... Funhouse is giving me a lot of content. Fuck this game. Let's kill these in regular way. I get to that other side, in Dark Jack.
I always forget that I have that stupid power up. I beat Chaos Theory in two streams. One nine hour one and one two hour one. Oh, you missed that. That was fun. It took six streams to beat Jack and Dax the Precursor Legacy. God only knows how long this is going to take me. This is stream two of Jack 2. It's supposed to be later today, but I can't sleep. That's how that's working out. Oh, fucking camera, please. Put that fire up so it didn't kill me. Yeah. But I got all the Twitch notifications and stuff working. Somehow. Even though I know this computer's trying to blow up. Had some stuff going on in your life at the moment? Well, I bet. Oh my god, no, please. Oh, dude, I'm not mad at you for missing Chaos Theory. Yeah, if you want to watch it, there's an archive on YouTube. I was just telling you what I've been doing lately. I mean, if you feel bad enough, you can always give me some money. <laughs> there are a few pesos my way. Or a few hundred pesos. That's what, hundred by a dollar, right? Or is it more? I'm not getting paid for so many yen. Can't dodge him. Look at that. Check the currency converter for that. I know. But a little over 100 yen is a, is one U.S. dollar. I know that. Peso, I think, is similar. I have a bunch of pesos here somewhere. Look at that. Mm. the eggs and never made this for yet. Oh, please don't die. Um... There's... There's no sound. The machine gun is silent. Makes me feel uncomfortable. In fact, there's no sound to this.
I just, I just go back now? I guess so. I'm gonna just go fuck back. Oh. It went all the way down. There we go. Oh, no, 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 please. Scared. Damn, finally done with this mission. Well, I guess that guy ran off. Sweet tea, so much. And them cops go yelling shit again. Oh, let me let me readjust my chair. Cause my knee hurts. Give me just a few seconds. This chair is so fucking loud. Okay. Ah, oh, that's much better. Oh, wow, my knee was hurting. This area is off limits. Just turn that mic that direction. In a very interesting sitting position. Yeah, I got all the notifications and stuff up, if you haven't noticed. And if someone donates or follows or any of that, it pops up. It says cool stuff and makes people feel good and all that. Of course, if I get more money or, you know, a good job, it'll be a lot better. Because eventually I'll get a better computer. One that's actually built for this. That's a long, long ways away. Oh, lighters light or something, Ig? It's a light. Well, I see I'm getting a few viewers every now and then, and they leave. It's a good title. Green edge lord save the world. 
That's basically what this game is. This is a no -hover zone. There's the furry, and then all of a sudden Jack is an edge lord. Or is it? Or is it the other way around? You don't know. Now they cuss and have guns. Fuck those happy adventures we've had in the past. I like darkness and realism and all that. And well, I guess realism isn't exactly darkness, but I like darkness. Something being dark doesn't make it bad. Something being campy and light doesn't make it good. I hate people like, oh, movie's just too dark. I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> if it was bad, it was bad uh, because of the other reasons. But this game's too dark. No, it's not. This game isn't bad because it's dark. I don't think it's bad at all. But. Man, was it a major tonal shift. Please advise. Suspect's description. Went from final of power cells so you can save all the sages to you're getting tortured in Guantanamo Bay. I'm like, what? It's like, holy shit. that to movies that are that they don't like but they blame the darkness for being the reason they don't like them. But also darkness doesn't mean no levity. People don't understand that either. to the pumping station. There's been no word from the patrol. And after what you guys ran into out there, I'm afraid she may need some help. Did you say she? Don't even think about it. Stop that! This is serious, you moron. Wah! That's right. Don't mess with the sugar. This friend of mine has helped the underground many times before. Go back to the pumping station and take a look around. Render assistance Man, how many times I gotta go to this stupid fucking pump station? Ass out of here. I mean, dead gum. I've been there three times already. So we got we got two places. I'm gonna use the shit out of them. Wasn't cheap to build. Oh, this is a mistake. Oh. Sweeping for suspects. Oh no. Oh, I hate these things. They, they, oh, they drive like shit. I didn't even see that guy. Yeah, I'm gonna walk now. This is Unit Alpha. We're walk on kind of guy. as hell movie with no camp in sight. Almost literally no camp in sight. The Godfather. The Godfather Part 2. <laughs> you know, two of the greatest movies ever made. You know what's also a dark movie with almost no camp in sight? The Godfather Part 3. You know the big difference between those? The first two and that third one is the third one is terrible. It has nothing to do with its tone. It has a lot to do with Coppola was on some cocaine or something and made a really fucking bad movie. God, that movie is just Roger, a spectacular, spectacular kind of bad. Goodfellas is not better. Godfather Part 2, that's insane. And I love Goodfellas. I'll die for that movie. Better than fucking part two. It's better than three. <laughs> Everything's better than three. 
Ale mówię, per. Goodfellas is also incredibly dark. That movie's not lighthearted. Just because it's got music and there's jokes, it's, that's the movie's not lighthearted at all. The movie's about murdering real people because that's a real story from a real guy. Says he just does shit like that. Fuck, you want to see a dark movie, King of Comedy? Holy shit. Which now I know why Scorsese's producing that Joker movie, because it looks like they might be doing the King of Comedy, but with the Joker. Which, that's actually a brilliant, brilliant idea. Because I was wondering why the fuck Robert De Niro was in it. Right, we'll check it out. And he's playing a late night host. And I'm like, oh. Oh, this movie might be good. No, oh, goddamn it, I fell in the water. I hate the smell of this part of the city. What? Stop what? The fact that the movie looks good, it's got great actors in it, and good people behind it, the fact that it might be good. I know, it's crazy. And I want it to be good. I don't want anything to fail. I wanted Venom to be good. It's not my fault, it's terrible. Joaquin Phoenix is like, I want a fucking Oscar. Safe zone. <laughs> Give me it for Caesar or Johnny Cash, you bunch of friends. Oh, good. I missed the big, huge monster in front of me. Oh, God. Oof. Oh, fuck. I need to go back to the dude and get, get more power ups. movie looks good. It's made by a good director. It's written by a good writer. Morris Scorsese's producing it. It's got Joaquin Phoenix in it and Robert De Niro. Oh. I don't I don't know why that is put on anyone out. I don't understand that. And the fact that they're going to basically remake one of Martin Scorsese's forgotten classics. But with the actual Joker in it. Instead of Robert De Niro sort of kind of being like a Joker character. Damn it. I didn't realize I was low on health. Todd Phillips is a solid director. He's not Scorsese, but... You have to give him a chance. No one thought Bradley Cooper was a, was, was a big game director either. Everyone was like, oh, this is so stupid. And then he makes a Star is Born. People were like, maybe, maybe we should have shut up. I give Todd Phillips a chance and give the people on this movie a chance. You know, they seem to know what they're doing. Considering, uh, if we want to talk about accolades or awards, the writer of Green Book, who is a racist and Oscar, uh, has three Oscars for best screenplay. Oh, he has more than three Oscars. He has a best screenplay, best adapted screenplay. Yeah, it's all riding Oscars. Man, just got another one. <laughs> for 
fucking belt. That's several best picture winners under his belt. I have no idea where I'm going. What? I'll go this way. Yeah, I, I don't judge movies um, until I see them, unless I hear crazy shit about the behind the scenes. I'm like, maybe it's time to worry, or if the trailer's bad. Uh, I don't judge it. I don't. That doesn't make me not see the movie, or say that it's going to be. It usually doesn't make me say it's going to be bad because a trailer. It all depends on who makes it. But if. It depends on the types of trailers. If there's two different kinds of trailers that are wildly different, okay, that pipe is ethereal. <laughs> um, then it can it conveys that the studio doesn't know what movie they have, and then that movie could be up in the air as to whether it's good or not. Um, take Venom. Take Suicide Squad take a lot of fucking stupid movies that have drastically different trailers and takes and posters and no, no one knew what that fucking movie was going to be. No one had a different idea what that movie was going to be when they saw it and no one got what they wanted. Um, at least Sony had the wherewithal once Venom was released to realize the stupid movie that they had on their hands. I just started working it. Sony actually played into the people who wanted to fuck them, and they started marketing it as a romantic yeah, what the heck comedy. Are we doing? Risking our lives to rescue some old crimson and it's hilarious, anyway. but not in a Deadpool sort of me. way. It was the hell are you almost two? serious. Mm, I do love a woman in uniform. Want to box some orders at me? Woof, woof. I'm your soldier on the front lines of love. Waiter, foxhole for two. Keep talking, and I'll raise your voice a couple of octaves. Easy. Torn asked us to help you. I don't need help, but you might. We've got company. Here they come. I'm excited. I just don't know what it is. Oh. Oh. This guy scores Daisy's name and has to go to Nero and Joaquin Phoenix. But if it's bad or good, it won't be bad or good on its tone. Based on its tone. This gun is so good, but you can't aim it. Oh, God. Why does this gun hate me? It's so powerful, but you can't aim it. Yeah, what the heck are we doing? Risking our lives to rescue some old crimson god hag anyway. She's probably got more facial hair than me. Who the hell are you two? Mm, I do love a woman in uniform. Want to bark some orders at me? Woof, woof. I'm your soldier on the front lines of love. Waiter, I'll... foxhole for two. Keep talking, and I'll raise your voice a couple of octaves. Easy. Torn asked us to help you. I don't need help, but you might. We've got company. Like Batman and Robin is not a bad movie because it's candy. Bad movie because you can't get into it. Shit show behind the scenes that everybody hates making. Gives that Joel Schumacher to the day to get the cover on. And he sees it as his worst disaster. He could recover from it, but he chooses not to. He wants to desperately to fix Batman World.
which Why was supposed to be the third, the third of the trilogy, it, or the end of the trilogy, hey, yeah, the third trilogy. Sweet oh, stripes, give me them digits so I can look you up sometime. We'll party hard, big city style. Tell Torn Baron Praxis is planning something big. I think it has to do with that symbol. What is it? It's the seal of the House of Mar, the founder of Haven City. We're being sent out on suicide missions to locate artifacts from the time of his rule. If curiosity's worth dying for, you can ask the blind old Suse. I think when the directors, writers, and actors on a movie these. say something's Here's a bad movie, security pass. and also the critics and the right? audiences, We're even I think it's a bad movie. Wow! What a I mean, one thing, if there was a ah. division, but it's 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 bad. It is a bad movie, but not because it's campy. Because Batman Forever, I love. I think Batman Forever is hilarious and a hell of a lot of fun. Batman and Robin hurts. And to listen to Joel Schumacher talk about it is you gotta listen to that commentary. He starts crying because he cannot believe what he put on screen. He just goes, I don't understand what we were doing, why we did it. He just, he starts losing it. I feel bad for the guy. Because I like the idea of it. Like super gay Batman, that's, that's funny. Not just funny, that's awesome. But it sucks. Forever did it right. You know a movie's bad when... Uh, I hate to say this. I really hate to say this because I think Val Kilmer is a great actor. But you know you fucked up when Val Kilmer out-acts George Clooney. <laughs> With all was so bad dialogue. Is the movie terribly written? And the problem with Robin and Forever is Forever was intentional and Batman and Robin wasn't. They were trying to make it super over the top. And in Batman and Robin, they tried it again. But oh, I forgot what Schumacher said. He put it in such an interesting way. It was like... Ah, oh, damn it. I wish I could remember what he said. I remember it being something similar to what Stephen King says, which is, which is basically it's like, uh, yeah, uh, cocaine. <laughs> Except when Stephen King says it, he laughs about it and he's like, yeah, and I'm glad I'm over that horrible part of my life. But when Schumacher says it, it's like, he's just so sad. Stephen King would be the first person to tell you that Silver Bullet is awful. Like, that movie is crazy, stupid fun. But I made, like, $20 million off of it, so I'm okay. The Running Man is not a great movie. It has nothing to do with my book. But I made a shit ton of money off of it. <laughs> and I don't care. He doesn't excuse the bad stuff that he's made or the bad parts of his books like the parts of it that we will not talk about uh, he gives you a reason says I made money off of it and I've gotten a lot better and I will never do that shit again but uh, yeah cocaine's hell of a drug man I don't know what your what what your I don't know the the fanboy thing you're talking about. I know the DC fans suck and Marvel fans kind of suck too. The whole fanboy shit just was terrible. It was culture. But uh oh, why did I hit him? Oh God! But no, forever. River is better in almost every way, but most people still think it's a bad movie. Batman and Robin almost killed comic book movies. In fact, he did for a while. I 
No, I'm just gonna let him kill me. So I can restart. Restart and then I go to the hut and get power. Oh, Batman Robin is not the worst superhero movie. It's not, not the worst superhero movie DC's made. DC made two unforgivably bad movies before Batman and Robin came out. And that is Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. And, which is worse in just about every way of Batman and Robin, but I think surpasses Batman and Robin in its... It's, it's bad in that way that is fun to laugh at. Batman and Robin, I can't laugh at. I tried. And I got sick. Forever I can do that with, which is why I feel forever is fun. It's like the 60s Batman show. It was done on purpose. But Batman and Robin was not. Because everybody on that damn film says it was not. And you can feel it. Doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. Doesn't mean you can't still find joy out of it. Just like many people find enjoyment out of The Room, The Room is a terribly written, poor, poorly acted, horribly directed film. That shot okay. And that was an accident. He shot it on both digital and film because he just said, screw it, I'll do it. And they were like, that's be incredibly expensive. And he's like, oh, it doesn't matter. And then they lost all the film, but he had the digital backup. Some people will call that genius. Other people will call that crazy. Because he didn't do it for a backup. He did it just... He said, what do you want, digital or film? Why not both? And they were like, uh... <laughs> that's going to be millions of dollars. And he's like, okay. Because Tom was so... is like part of the mafia or something. No one knows where he gets his fucking money. No, I wonder if you're mixing Forever and Batman and Robin up. Because Forever has actually more plot points and pieces and just everything moves smoother. Is that hut not open anymore? How did it not... I want to get a freaking upgrade. Where's the map? Huh. I have like 135 of these things. Suspect's description. Jim Carrey's Riddler, which is actually legit great. Outside of a few parts where it goes too far. I think him being manic like that, and everyone's like, he's just being the Joker, and I'm like, he's really not. Watch 60's Riddler. That's who he was trying to be. It's very, very, very similar. Tommy Lee Jones, I don't think he got the memo on who Two-Face was. But he's giving it his all. Chris O'Donnell, I think, got screwed. Um, I think he was a great Robin. I think he had to look down. Same as Val Kilmer and George Clooney and everybody involved in those movies. They did not have bad actors in them. The acting was bad a lot of the times, but that has to do with the poor direction, which Joel Schumacher has admitted to. Constantly. And he proves it that he can direct actors better. Batman Forever and Robin were this really weird shit show of a... Forever was less of a shit show than Robin was, but there... That is a fascinating tale of how that shit got done. Sweeping for suspects. Because it got taken away from Tim Burton and all kinds of weird shit. And it just, um... Uh... Batman and Robin hits that sweet spot. Really. Batman and Robin hits the sweet spot where it goes even more over the top. No. Like trying to say that Rhinestone Cowboy is, well, hold on, hold on, is better than Cobra. 
both not great movies. One of them is very clearly superior, and it's Cobra. Or maybe Over the Top would be a better, better comparison. Which for Stallone is one of his best quotes ever. He goes, you never know how a movie's gonna go. He goes, when I'm on a film set and everybody's having fun and we're all friends, it's like, man, this is great. Everything goes smoothly, movie comes out, it's either a bomb or a critical disaster. Or both. But when we have the worst time ever, or when I almost die and everything, the movie comes out and I win an Oscar. <laughs> Because that's what happened with uh, Rocky, and he got nominated for Rambo or First Blood. There's these horrible film experiences in one way or the other, where he Roger, almost died. Sweet. And some of the, his best work and best uh, best movies ever made. People forget about First Blood. First Blood's great. I mean, Ronan, you, you can't have that opinion, but it is completely opposite of what everybody else seems to have thought, thought then and thinks now. Batman and Robin is not having a comeback. But I give Schumacher credit, as I will with any director who took, took it upon himself to take the blame and try to make it better. I wonder if Triumphant ever came out, because he wanted to try to complete that and get that sweet spot and and make it what it was supposed to be, and also end uh, end everything on a on a good note. But it wasn't all Schumacher's fault. Warner Brothers, who is notorious as we've come to know, just does this shit. They're so so bad. They don't know how to be hands off. They literally Ooh, don't know how to be hands off. Ow! Touch the goods again, rat boy, and you'll be <laughs> counting with your toes. Ronan, I get that you're not alone. I Just how I'm not alone in Batman vs Superman being yes, a good movie. Yes, I know. My mother, she was. Or a movie good. that I enjoy. I am Onan's interpreter. But you're gonna sit there and say, "No, I'm wrong." I can pull you data. I got all kinds people that agree with me, and you can pull people that agree with you. But I also switch that when we can show the overwhelming numbers. Ow! Ow! Let me try. Uh, she wants a she wants a yakow bone, a yakow bladder. No, no, I got it. For many moons, she has waited for. Oh fuck, Rambo too. A jewel shop. I like that movie. That movie is not good. Damn it, it could have been. It could have been good. Onan says you seek answers about the tomb of Mar. So what you can tell that movie had something to say, it just didn't know how to say it. Mystical energy channels, evil curses, stupid crap. Forget all that. I'm gonna sum this up quickly because now you're cutting into my siesta time. Onan wants you to recover three artifacts from the precursor mountain temple. Not two, not four, three. Use the warp gate at the northwest side of the city and bring back the three items you find. I hate the smell of this part of the city. Can I get artifacts now? No, it's. This is Unit Alpha. Where oh, look. If we're gonna talk about things actually being bad, if we're gonna try to do the objective, not what you feel, if we're gonna tear stuff down by writing direction, everything else, then in DC, nothing, nothing has beaten Superwoman. If we wanna do the list, if we wanna do the list of critical reception, or just critical reception, Hell, well, actually, if you throw a box office in there, it lines up just as well. We go Superwoman, Superman 4, Batman and Robin, Batman vs. Superman. <laughs> Fuck. And then Superman 3 would follow. 
Batman vs Superman, and then Batman Forever right behind Superman 3. My God, that that moment. Superman 4 is fun to watch because it's like you can see the wires, and it's almost like watching the WWE, and they use the same flying shot every time, and it's like crappily. It's not Photoshop. It was long before Photoshop. Basically Photoshopped in. It's so so bad, but it's funny. And apparently the actors weren't being hurt, so they were all like, "It's okay." Superwoman was a different story. They almost killed that woman. And just the movie is so bad, and it hurts to watch. You can feel it. It's just so, so bad. Yes, nothing in art is objective. You, you, we can say that, and what is art, blah, 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 blah. But it's better, and then people have to say it's more, it's better to love something or hate something than to feel nothing, which is true. But then they go, like, if something is mediocre or it's just a six, something like that, then it's not as good as something that you hate or that is awful. And I don't necessarily agree with that. But you can break down the movie-making process into some objective terms. Some, not all. Because there are people in this world who do not like The Godfather or The Godfather Part 2. There are people in this world, like Stephen King, who hate The Shining. There are people in this world who think that the American Godzilla is the best Godzilla movie. I have met these people. I mean, I haven't met Stephen King, but I've met these people who share these opinions. And you can have those opinions. That's what it is. Batman vs Superman did something to me on a, on a weird artistic level that I don't under, I don't know. It has a lot of problems, but like it affected me, and I don't know how, why, or how. And that's fine. That's how art works. But we want to break that shit. We want to break that shit down on. Writing, editing, acting, everything. That movie is far from the worst one. God, Superman 4 is so bad. But fun. I'll give it that. It's fun. If you want to base it on fun or enjoyment, then that's one thing. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just how the movie is made. That is one of the poor... You could make that... You, and I think people have just to show how bad it was made you can make it in your backyard and make it look better but Superwoman Superwoman which is a movie not a lot of people know about because Warner Brothers tried to hide that shit when it came out and it made like I think it made I think it only made like a few thousand dollars at the box office like something hilariously Hilariously bad. And how do I get to the flip over? Platform, Jack. There we go. And that one, that one's a weird one because, from what I know about it, Warner Brothers didn't interfere that much. I mean, they interfered and they pushed it, but they didn't. It wasn't like the interference with the rest of the Super Superman movies. It was a weird, weird, just, and honestly horrible thing that happened. Um, Warner Brothers is Warner Brothers is terrible, and how they react to everything. Uh, the reason they fired Tim Burton is because, not because Batman Returns didn't make money. In fact, I believe Batman Returns was critically well received and made more money than Batman. And in my opinion, I prefer it to Batman. Um, I just like it better. I think it's a better made movie, but I also just like it better. Um, they got rid of him because parents freaked out. And they said it was too dark, and they just for kids movie, blah, 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 despite the movie being rated PG fucking 13. Now, granted, it is not a kid's movie, but Tim Burton didn't make a kid's movie. 
And even when he does make a kids movie, it says Tim Burton on it. You should know better. Also, did you not see the first one? Like, it wasn't really a shock to me. I mean, if it was the first one that I saw, maybe. If I went from Adam West Batman and then Batman Returns, pretty big shock. But if you watch a trailer for the damn thing, or watch the first movie, I, I, how are you shocked? I'm shocked he held back. It's Tim Burton. Though he hadn't made a good movie in 20 years. Well, no, that's not true. He's made Frank and Wayne was good. And then, apparently that, I haven't seen it, but apparently that weird, um, it's got Ava Green in it. I don't remember her damn name. I'm not, I remember her name. I can't remember her name. It's Paraguay's house for like, weird children or something like that. Apparently that was good. Dumbo's terrible. A weird, weird kind of terrible from what I hear from trusted sources. Which means I don't have to go make myself go see that movie. But at least it does something different. It's not just a straight remake. They let him do whatever he wanted, apparently. Which is... Fuck up Dumbo. If we're gonna be honest, Dumbo's not that great. Dumbo is remembered for one thing, one thing only, and that's a flying fucking elephant. Oh fuck, I'm dead. You gotta. But they fired him because of that. Because of the big backlash from the parents. They went and got Joel Schumacher. Which. Ain't that funny. It's the sexy cat lady who's too much. For audiences to handle, which it wasn't. It was, oddly enough, it wasn't the Danny DeVito stuff. They all kept talking about Michelle Pfeiffer and her over-sexualized cat lady. And what I love about Joel Schumacher is he went one. He disagreed with Tim Burton. Tim Burton's firing, and not firing, removal from the project because Tim and Warner Brothers were fighting. And though he never went on record to say this or don't have any evidence to support this claim other than what happened. But I know that he w he did come on the record and say he did not agree with what happened to Burton. Um, they removed him and then Burton was like, okay, I'll, I'll leave if I'll give me a Superman project. And they're like, sure, have this project that will never, ever start. <laughs> and uh, the writing was on the wall there. Because if you've researched that, Warner Brothers set that up to fail. The movie was never going to get made. Um, but besides all that, they were like, it's too sexualized, blah, blah, I can't do this for the kids. So he gives them the most sexualized comic book movie, or, hmm, I'm afraid that. Mainline, or mainstream comic book movie ever made. Uh, and both of them, Batman has never been more sexualized, and it's all gay sexuality, which is awesome. That's not the reason we're bad. I just find that hilarious. They're like, this is too much sex, and he's like, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get Batman videos in the biggest cod piece you have ever seen. Close up on his tight ass. And Robin's gonna be a gymnast. <laughs> a gymnast, a trapeze artist. He's gonna work out all the time. We're gonna watch him wash clothes. And it's like, man, Joel Schumacher, you're, you're working through some shit, aren't you? And it's, no, I'm not working through shit. I'm an openly gay director. And it's like, oh, that makes sense, Joel. <laughs> But man, it, it, it's just, but apparently parents, or no one brought up then, that I know of, probably some people, but no media outrage or anything, now there'd be a huge kerfuffle, but no one, no one brought up then that there was a huge outrage about the Catwoman stuff, about Forever and Robin being incredibly gay. Like, now that'd be the whole gay thing, like, people would be running with that crazy. 
but no one did that back then, and it, it, it is crazy to see how that didn't happen. But Bert got removed because of... Because, oh, Catwoman tried to... Well, fuck everybody, that's kind of what she was doing. And granted, that was Tim Burton's version of Catwoman, because he, he didn't know anything about Batman. And it's like, it's a woman that is like, what's a cat worker? Right, the dress like a cat? Well, well, I'll make her my version. She doesn't really steal anything, but she dresses up like a dominatrix in leather. It's like, well, that's not really cat woman. It's like, I don't give a shit. I'm the director. If I want to make a movie I can masturbate to, then that's my prerogative. And they're like, okay, Tim. I want to see Burton's Batman forever, because he had some good ideas. Damian Wayne was going to be Robin, and uh, Two-Face was going to be uh, Billy D. Williams. Tim Burton had, had set Williams up to be Two-Face for a long time, and then he wanted a black Robin. He wanted a little diaper superhero cast, because he thought it was important to have diversity in these huge mainstream movies. Because even he thought that his own movies were too white. I'm like, that's, that's just... That's... And when and Burton also thought that Wayne was the best option to be Robin. When Burton, when Burton says the crap like, I want the best person for the job, he literally means it. Because he was willing to cast anybody. Yes, Michael Keaton's Batman. Nobody in the fucking right mind would have done that. And I'm glad I did, because it was awesome. It was a great decision. But nobody would have done that. And he did. And he was gonna have Damian Wayne's as the Robin. And that would have... Oh, fuck, I'm dead. And that would have been amazing. And it would have been the first black superhero in a movie. But it didn't happen. Doesn't mean Joel Schumacher's racist or anything. It's just, just that was what Tim Burton did, and it didn't happen. Warner Brothers has a fucking weirdly long history of fucking up their own shit. Because they don't know better. People think it started recently with the whole Snyderverse bullshit, but my god, it goes back to Superman. Who in their right mind fires Richard Donner? And goes, you're not good enough? Nobody. Because Richard Donner's awesome. That's what they did. Because he wasn't making their Superman movie. So they fired him, got a new guy, reshoot all of Superman 2. And that's why Superman 2 is really a fucking mess. People seem to love it for some reason. I think it's a good movie, but that movie's a fucking mess. Fish oil pill. Uh, what do I do now? Well, actually, I do know what I do. I take a swig of tea. Finally got a uh, an idea of what Richard Donner's Batman was gonna be. I mean, a Batman, uh, Superman Two was gonna be. But I just wish we could have got the. 
Ronan, are you still there? Or am I just talking to myself at this point? Which I still need to do. I can't just stop talking. Something blew up. Where'd it blow up? I guess he's good. Oh no, he's here. Warner Brothers screwed. They screwed Tim Burton. They screwed Brendan Fraser out of being Superman. Um, they didn't really screw Brendan Ralph. Brendan Ralph. Uh, Zack Snyder screwed him. I mean, Zack Snyder. Uh, Brian Snyder screwed him. Brian Snyder sucked. about it like hey probably is fucked up here. maybe they should do something about this and then your fucking timeline on Twitter or wherever just becomes full of Nazis patting you on the back and you're like oh, no no we're not we're not friends <laughs> I've had to run off a bunch of Nazis because they think they're on your side I'm like no it's like imagine the all right took way different things. One of these is not going to be effective with lives, just not, you know, the world scale. I think they co-opted global warming. And use that as their mission, but in the, in the different way. Right? Just to, you know, to tear everybody down. Which they kind of are doing. In a little bit. They're kind of actually, they're taking good things because have the wherewithal to go. Wait a minute, we, if we take actual good things or good arguments or whatever and roll with them, we can just diffuse it and stop the argument from happening. I want to shoot whoever gave me that idea. Because um, they took something like that and then every time we talked about it, you either got lumped in with Nazis or, or Nazis thought you were their best friend. It is a lose-lose situation. So then you just stop talking about it. Or you assume that everyone talks about that, except it's a real issue. Now, the stuff of Warner Brothers is nowhere near close to being on the scale of something that affects billions of people. Damn. Wonder why what? I said a lot of things there. Can't be more specific there, Rona.
climate change. I'm a firm believer in climate change. And then all of a sudden, and then George Bush comes out and says that he believes in it. Now I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> like, that's a good joke. Because it's very similar. and they give you that power fantasy, you believe them. Because of course you do. Because humans are stupid. Daggum humans. What the fuck is this? I bet that's the prize! Is that one kind of gear? Like candy from a baby. Broke the shit out of that. Here. Like what sucks is because I keep getting looped into that crap because I generally want to see. A Snyder cut. I hate to say that. And that, that phrase. I'm not just gonna hear it from the other side of the world. Come get me. Be like, look, he's my friend. I'm like, God damn it. Why would you Nazis leave me fuck alone? But um, because one, I like director's cuts, good and bad. And we know Warner Brothers fucked up in that. I want to see better or worse what that original vision was. I like seeing the original vision. I want to see Burton's original vision. I want to see Donner's Super Bowl 2. We got an idea of it, but we didn't get the whole thing. I want to see all that. Huh. That looks different. I don't think it is, but that looks different down there. What's... Oh, shit. Well, I'll never know. Because I can say whatever I want, Ronan. That's what I do. I do want to see that. I, want, I like director's cuts. Director's cuts, good or bad, I think are a good thing. I think director's genuine vision, especially when the studio screws around, is good. If we didn't have those, we never would have known that Kingdom of Heaven was a good movie at one point in time. Oh, here's a director's cut that literally changes the entire movie and fixes the plot holes and actually has character development and better everything. How the fuck? How the fuck did that happen? How did how did that movie not end up in theaters? Snyder version, I do want to see it. 
because I, I want a man's original vision that got kind of screwed up from under him and then fired him but then didn't say they fired him and then tried to put it on the tragedy of his fucking daughter who killed herself. That's really bullshit. That one is cool. Fuck this guy again. Stuff like that's good. What are my objectives? Missions. Find shard and mountain temple. Find lens and mountain temple. Okay, I got one of them. Thanks, stuff like that's good. Um, I want to see. The Suicide Squad director's cut, because there is a version of that movie that's good. Some oh, 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 I don't know about that. There is a different version of that movie. A completely different version of that movie that was done, that was edited and done like Final Cut everything that they completely threw away. That he doesn't know um, that. Uh, what's his name? What is uh? What's that guy's name? Ronan, what's that director's name? Um, it's not Fincher. Why the hell is it Fincher? Um, it's not Eric Noski. Is it? Is it Darren? No. I thought it was. Training Day. This guy wrote Training Day. And made End of Watch. What the fuck is his name? What is his name? I can't remember his name. Darren Aronofsky made Noah. Which, that's a movie. And uh, also made Black Swan. What's, what's. I thought it was David. Ayer. There you go. He is a legitimately good director and good writer. And we know that. We got proof of it. Not like I did it one time, two times, or three times. I did it a bunch. I did it as a writer and I did it as a director. Now, not everybody has a. Has a uh, uh, a hundred percent. Not everybody's a hundred. Mr. T. Spielberg had some bumps. Scorsese had some bumps. Uh, no one had some bumps. But yeah, everybody's got bumps. Alright. Like, who's not going to get bumps? Even when everything goes perfectly, there's some bumps. That movie ended perfectly. And he admits that it probably wouldn't have been what he had, probably wouldn't have been good. But he told about it, but the screwed up part about it is, is with these, with these things, um, they use footage and trailers that was supposed to be in the real movie, that when the movie came out wasn't there. The whole plot lines and stuff that were gone. Because they threw out what they had. They gave to a trailer house that cut a trailer that everybody got on YouTube. And they said, here you, said, here, you cut the movie. Which is why the movie is nonsensical. Um, oh, it's one of the weirdest situations I've ever heard of a, of a movie like that. Um, and then, uh, 
Well, damn it, it's out of my reach. Oh, I got it. Uh, I don't know if his original version would have been better or worse, but I want to see it because the director made something and his editing team put something together and we'll never get to see it. And it wasn't the DVD extras, the deleted scenes or alternate scenes, a whole movie's worth, just gone. He said they were left on a cutting room floor and gone. Like, uh, just like Event Horizon. I want to see that director's cut. Event Horizon, people like it, people don't. It's aged not that great in some aspects. I think it's actually a really good space horror. One of the better space horror movies since Alien. Haven't really been too many. Too many others. That have done the horror in space well. Um, though it has a lot of studio bullshit too in it because it, it's like, it's gotta have a happy ending, but it's gotta have a final scare. Oh, well, it can't be too dark and too scary. And I mean, that, that, that dude, um, Anderson, he was trying to make a legit horror movie. But, um, Anderson, uh, Paul Anderson, he, he, fuck, I died. He is like the Platinum Games of directors. And Platinum Games, if you don't know, is known for... Um, well, they make Bayonetta. But they're not just known for the type of game they make. They're known for how they make games. You give them a project, and you give them a budget, and you give them a timeline. And they go, okay. And they will always, always finish before the time lines up, and always under budget. They'll give them two years to make a game, and they'll finish it in six months. They're crazy. And no one really knows how they do it. Probably some poor worker, probably some poor worker relations and business practices, but no, nothing's come out about that company. Nothing bad, so just weird. Um, but like, they, they make these amazing games, but good or bad, because they have made some bad games, but they, games bad. Um, they come in under budget and ahead of schedule. Anderson's like that too. Paul Anderson is like that. Um, so they gave him all these huge demands that would have stumped or stopped a lot of regular directors. Didn't stop him. They reshot a bunch of the movie um, wildly. Inserted stuff, did different takes stuff while the movie was like slated to release. And put it in. Did crazy, crazy technical CG shots that were really hard to do at the time. Not exactly easy to do now. And. Uh, Crazy stuff like that. And did it all super fast. And the things about the reshoots is you can't tell. But unlike unlike with other movies like Rogue One had reshoots, and you can't really tell, though it is obviously that it was a very different movie when they reshot it. But that movie got pushed back and then they got it they got elongated and all kinds of stuff and they made it they made it work in the end. Then it happened to Event Horizon. They still stuck to that timetable, and he finished it. And it shows that it was rough. But he originally wanted to make a real deal horror movie. And it shows because there's some fucking horrifying shit in that movie. But there's also like 40 minutes of footage that disappeared. But they may have found it. I read recently that he thinks he's been looking for it for 20 years. Oh no. 25 years or so. I think that movie came out before I was born. Or maybe right after. So, like so a little over 20 years ago. And he'd been looking for it. And I think he found it. Because I found some of it a long time ago and he put it in his direction. But he's like, this still isn't my true vision. But it's close enough. Then he found it and they're just working out through some rights issues. And he. It's. It's. I can't wait. 
because he took out all the stupid cheesy bullshit. He, he's, he's wanting to take out all the, the stuff the studio made and put it in because they didn't want to be too dark and, and scary, which is stupid because he's like, I'm making a horror movie. What do you mean to be scary? He was like, you gotta do this, 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 So he's putting it back together. Damn, I feel like something in my neck that's hurting. But he's putting it all together, and man, he, I, I hope that movie comes out. Because we finally got a uh, what's his name? It's director's cut of Nightbreed. Damn it, what's his name? Clive Barker. And that was good. People thought that movie wasn't good, and it was a train wreck and a mess. And thirty years, thirty years later, it comes out and it's good. John Carpenter has a missing director's cut somewhere. I forgot what movie he's been trying to piece back together. I know there's one of them. There's one of them that he's trying to piece back together. I don't know if he ever was able to do it. He usually makes the movie he wants to make. Usually. Except for Halloween 2. He didn't want to make that. <laughs> he wanted to make the money. I'm trying to think. There is a... There, he, he has a director's cut he's been wanting to make, but there's something wrong with it. Clive Barker got his done for 30 years. And almost the night was, was a stroke of I think septic shock basically gave him a stroke because he went and got a dental a dental work done and almost died. Because if you didn't need to be more worried about the dentist than you already were, did you know that you can die on the dentist chair? Something they don't tell you about? Because when they go to any kind of dental surgery and clean you up, that bacteria can slide out and get into you. It can cause septic shock, which can kill you dead. Or permanently hinder you. Uh, cause a stroke, basically. He got that, and they thought he was never going to recover, and it was fine. Which is good for him. But Nightbreed took him forever. My point is, is that director's cuts are good. But on Paul Anderson's thing is he is the he is the Platinum Games of the movie business because that son of a bitch makes movies, and he knows how to make them under budget and they always make their money back. He made, what, seven Resident Evil movies? Except the one that he didn't make, the one that he didn't make that he let someone else do is actually the, the best one in critical perception. I don't know if it made the most money, but critical perception, which is it's also my favorite one. It's, uh, I think it's ex Extinction? The one where they're in the desert. That dude just, he just makes movies, him and his wife just making movies like crazy. It's like, we're gonna make a billion dollars. And they always get them done. And no one in the cast and the production team hates them. Hell, him and Emilia Jokovic are still married and there's been no rumor of divorce. Hell, Kate Bacon, Bacon Cell and her husband didn't last. They were gonna do all those Underworld movies and that didn't last. Real. 
Man, that got dwarfed. But Anderson's just been going. And then... Him and Yoko going nuts. Another damn monster hunter. He always goes under budget. He's always on time. And the movie's always been funny. And that's all they care about. But one time, he was given a project. To actually make a real deal movie. And he wanted to do it. And it just bit him in the ass. Which I, I, I hope he gets the chance to do it again. I don't think he's done anything outside the Resident Evil so film. This Monster Hunter movie. This Monster Hunter movie seems to be taking a lot longer than usual. Because I'm Resident Evil movies. You, you get like a screenshot of the Resident Evil movie and then the next article you read. Actually, see the screenshot is the trailer of the movie. And then, and then in it, it's like coming out this weekend. And I just, I just found out about this movie. <laughs> so maybe he's taking his time on this. Okay, Jack, don't. This, this fucking board is gonna kill me. Zack Snyder. I can't help that you don't, and I don't care. I don't like when people slander him, like that whole fiasco that happened recently. Um, I was concerned when I heard about that. Like, oh man, slammed on the deep end. Is he okay? Is he really a bad person? Is he just is he not healed from, from the tragedy? Turns out that was a that was a quote. Taken out of context because of course it was. And people ran with it without ever retracting it. Because I went and got the whole damn thing because I wanted to research it. Because before I condemn somebody, I to make damn sure they actually screwed up. I'm gonna find out the true story. I'm not gonna believe one person's tweet or a stupid variety article. I want to see what actually happened. I found this, this whole thing was live streamed, and he wasn't even talking about Batman or Superman or Batman killing people. Or, or he wasn't talking about but people complained him about Batman. I was talking about it all. They had screened Watchmen, and he was talking about the, someone asked him a question about how the movie affected him. And he said, he said, well, you know, it's, you go through this movie, this process, and it's like, people go up like, oh man, Batman kills, killed the guy. And he wasn't talking about in his movie. He said, Batman killed the guy, and he goes, oh man, that sucks. And he said, but then after this, it's like, man, fuck that. You think your heroes are innocent now? He's like, he's like, you think your heroes are innocent? Think they've done anything? You don't have blood on your hands? So once you lose your virginity to this movie, you don't see that shit anymore. And he was making a joke because after he said that everybody laughs and he laughs there's Not video of it baby. what he was saying is it's like oh yeah you can do all that shit i don't know what i'm doing here oh hit it what the fuck this is weird oh that's that i don't like that that's that's weird he made it he was kind of picking on himself but he was making a joke how am i supposed to hit that Oh, maybe I'm hitting this wrong. But they're asking about how the Watchmen affected him, and that's how. Like, all oh, before, and they'll tell you about how this, this happened. It's like, oh, Batman did this, Batman did this. Before, he'd be like, oh, man, that's, that's crazy. I can't believe that. And after the Watchmen, he's like, God is dead. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, that's a completely different quote. The difference between saying fuck Nazis and telling someone to go fuck Nazis. One is, yeah, fuck Nazis. Nazis suck. Nazis are evil. And the other one is, you know what? You should have sex with some Nazis. 
Yeah, those are two completely different things, wildly different things. But context is important. Ah, fuck, I think okay, so. And I stood up for Spielberg too when people slandered him. Trying to say that he was trying that he was a racist and going against minority filmmakers when his whole Netflix thing debacle came out. I was like, whoa, that, that, well, that was way off base. And it's like, well, look at his filmography. And I'm like, yeah, he, he is a, a white man who makes movies about white people. I'm not saying that's right. But that is not proof that he's racist. Proof that he's an old man that may not be as progressive as we would like him to be. He's not evil. Oh fuck, kill himself. He's not racist or evil. He's completely wrong about the Netflix thing, though. But he's not evil. He's Steven Spielberg. And then people go off as like, well, he's doing more that good anyway. I'm like, You're so full of shit. Look, you don't want to like the guy that's one thing. You're going to talk about his movies aren't that good. That's like saying Tom Hanks ain't that good of an actor. You just go walk yourself off the bridge. I get this one right. Damn it. I think I fucked up. Oh, I can reset it? Oh, okay. Hmm. But I think, I, I think that's important. I don't think we should hate on somebody because he makes movies we don't like or always makes bad movies. Um, the reason I don't particularly care for Michael Bay isn't because he makes bad movies. In fact, Michael Bay has made good movies and great movies and has proven himself to be a competent director. The reason I don't particularly care about Michael Bay is, at least in the past, in, well actually very recent past, he is very misogynistic and homophobic. And there's been a lot of weird racism in his movies. That's very, very strange. Um, Snyder has a weird thing with homophobia as well, but only one instance of it. 300 in it does not excuse it, but one instance of it. Um, uh, has since gone back on all of that and has done his best to clear that. Bay hasn't, though he has made up with Megan Fox, so. But I don't think we'll jump on someone just because they make bad movies or make movies you don't like. I don't like Ron Polanski because he's a rapist piece of shit. Because I don't like his movies. Because his movies are great. I won't watch any, I won't watch them anymore, and I'll never watch a one if a new one. But the man is an amazingly talented filmmaker. Oh, hey, forever, what's up? We were having a weird conversation about movies. Me and my buddy, Social Justice Kaiju. Kaiju. Welcome to the stream. Kind of still at that early, early morning where, where it's like loopy. And I'm just trying to figure out this stupid puzzle, so I'm just talking about random movie nonsense. Because me and the buddy Ronan, who is a social justice kaiju in chat, uh, is a movie buff. Or me and him are movie buffs. Love film. So we're just talking about shit. So there's not a lot to comment on the game at the moment. Basically a fetch quest right now. Oh god. <laughs> Jack powers. Ooh. No, Jack powers didn't work. 
Jack Powers worked. Oh. Sorry if that conversation was boring, y'all, but I'm trying to do something while figuring out that puzzle. Wasn't a lot of combat. You still on, Rona? Oh, and uh, welcome to the stream, Forever X. Just making sure, make, making sure I said that made you feel welcome. If you got any questions about the game, the stream, or me, myself, or anything else, feel free to ask. So I think we got most of everything. Or am I missing one thing? Lens. We're still missing the lens. Okay. So we got the shard. We got the... Well, I don't know what the other thing was. So we need the lens. I have been playing through the... Well, about basically a bunch of old games. That... Ooh that I had never played before because I never owned a PS2 in my childhood. Um, the Mexican corn pops are good. Uh, that I never had in my childhood. That and just some old games that I haven't played in a while, like Splinter Cell. I was streaming Splinter Cell a while ago. I finished the Chaos Theory stream a day or so ago. Uh, I just finished the Precursor Legacy, Jack and Dash Precursor Legacy, and we started Jack 2 yesterday. And I was going to stream it later today, like after I slept, but I couldn't sleep, so I started streaming this. Uh, other than that, uh, besides streaming stuff with my wife, that's all I've been doing, except what we've been doing this week. And uploading videos to the YouTube channel, yada yada yada, you know, all that good stuff. I'm trying to figure out a way to make the stream better. For everyone watching, who wants to watch, who wants to follow, all that good stuff. If you're wondering what the donation goal is out there, what that's for exactly. How do I get the egg? I can roll the box over there. Or I can't because it's locked. Uh, that is to pay bills for April. Recently unemployed, hard to find jobs because I am one of the lucky few who's on the autistic spectrum, and with that comes a lot of other problems. It's hard for me to find a job, but I'm good at playing video games. Not not good at the games. Good at playing them. Not not like good because I'm I'm suck at this game, <laughs> and I'm good at talking. Whether or not I'm interested, I can talk forever. Um, talk by myself, which I've been doing mostly. And uh, talking to uh, Ronan. Talk by myself, I talk in the chat. Talk about whatever kind of conversation topic y'all want. But usually commenting on the game. Right now I'm confused about... Let's jump down. Lens. I just don't know where that is. Are Mexican corn pops better than American corn pops? I know the Canadian ones suck, or at least that's what I've been told by Canadians. By uh, Matt McMuscles on this channel. Um, he adores America when he comes over the border to America to get some delicious, crazy American cereals, usually stopping through New York. They have some specialty stores over there. And he goes and gets some great cereals, like the Pop-Tart cereal. Which I don't even know if I'm ever going to get. I don't know if that sounds good or not. I, I can't make up my mind. Hmm. What do there? Wait, no. 
I didn't go through here. I haven't killed these things yet. This is new. These things is quite good. Well, yeah. That's usually a, a pretty good rule is to not fall into poisonous water. I know American cereal is better, or um, I don't know about better, some of it is. There's a lot more variety than Canadian cereals, or at least in Montreal, according to the Montrealers, Montrealians, or whatever they're called. That used to be the super best friend. And I haven't contacted them personally or had any stuff like that, I just... Matt McMuscles is a huge cereal nerd, which is a thing. And it, okay, it should be. Cereal's delicious. It talks about cereal all the time. Uh, but. And the core pops are in a blue box, which is. That just. That seems against God. I mean, I didn't die, bitches. That way is where it came from. So that takes me back to the beginning. So here, it's the only place I haven't gone. balcony. <laughs> Why did you kill that thing again? If anyone's played this game before and would like to give me some tips, I will surely take it because I'm confused as to where to go. I just know I need a lens, but I don't know where it is. Yes. And uh, by the way, for anyone watching, I'm not pressuring you to donate. Just if you were wondering why, that's it. You don't have to donate. That is completely optional. Just like you don't have to be a subscriber of the Patreon. Oh shit, I just killed myself. That's also optional. It's just a part of support. Um, just letting y'all know what's going on. And uh, fuck, kill myself again. Uh, I had something in my mind. I forgot. Oh yeah, and uh, not be forced. Watching is just good enough. Viewers platform, are just as good. Get enough viewers and I don't need to donate. <laughs> what the hell? Why did it shoot me in the air like that? They'll never answer my question wrong. I asked you if Mexican corn pops were better. Oh. I know Mexican Coke is. Is Mexican corn pops better? Or is are they better? A sweeter, different consistency, like what was it better? Mexican Coke is the superior Coke. It's just like a Dublin Dr. Pe Pepper is the superior Dr. Pepper. And that's not Ireland, it's Dublin, Texas. Why? go back this way because I remember fuck you. I remember there being some different paths. Or I think there was a different a different path. I remember seeing something. Forever X I hope I didn't scare you away. He said hey and you may have said that while I was talking about a bunch of bullshit. And uh, I don't know if I saw your message. I don't know how long it was sitting there. I try to respond to everybody. I got used to it just being me and Ronan for a while, so I kind of got lost in the weird movie conversation. That happens more often than you'd think. Of course, it's been a while since you've been away dealing with family stuff. 
Which... Which... Okay. Gotta say something, I forgot. And I'm dead, so it doesn't matter. I was gonna say that, uh... Yeah, you got shit to deal with, so there's, you know... You don't have to deal with friends, you got your own life to worry about. Sometimes when I say that, people feel bad. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. That's, that's just what you... Uh... Did, did did this game just make a meme? I swear it just zoomed in and made slow motion and got and got as I was falling to my death. Did did you notice that? Did did you did you notice that? Am I crazy? Anyway, just, just saying. You gotta take care of yourself, you gotta take care of your family. Don't even take care of me. Just been worried about you. You what? I wasn't talking to you. you go back to sleep. Dead gum wife. No, I was talking to Ronan. He's been having some family stuff. I was just letting him know that I wasn't trying to make him feel bad. And I'm dead. Because <laughs> I was like, he's haven't talked to you in a while because you've been dealing with stuff. I just wanted to make sure that that didn't come off as me guilting him. He's in Mexico right now. Platform, Jack. <laughs> what? <laughs> they went there on purpose. Oh, <laughs> well, I said he went to Mexico, and you said I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know you were talking about the family. I thought you were just sorry he's in Mexico. See, when he goes there, he can actually come back. He has a choice. They don't see him as a threat for some re for some reason. No, this this little five foot three girl is just gonna destroy America. You are not closer to five five. The dog is taller than you. You are 5'3". I know, I know what you're talking about. But you said you were 5'4", but I thought you were the same height as Jeremy. I thought, I, the way I remember that was you being like, oh, we're the same height. Did it? I don't remember being Easter. It was Fiesta. And Victory Day. But I don't remember I don't it wasn't Easter. I thought Easter had already happened. Holidays that move around are weird. Fight didn't end in my favor. Well, I'm gonna go use the restroom. Hold down the fort, Ronan.
It'd be August. We met in August. Okay, well, yeah. And in December, we'll have been together for three years. Either way, we've known each other for about three years. Been married for one. Been a fun ride. <laughs> I love her so much. She could do so much better, but for some reason she's in love with me, so I got lucky. I've messed up my share scenario here. Somehow. How did I mess this up? What did I do wrong? So I still gotta find that damn lens, wherever the hell it is. I just know it's on this mountain. How the hell do I get to it? I have any other roads to go? Maybe if I. Maybe I have to fight that monster again. Oh, I'm not talking about the dog. Let me see. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. What do you mean whenever I talk about my marriage? What what about my marriage? What's wrong with my marriage, Ronan? What you got to say? He said whenever you talk about your marriage, I guess there's a face in front of that. I don't know if it's happy face or what. It's like a it's a theater mask, oddly enough. Hmm, me either. Just awesome. You wish you could be this happy. Her mom makes jello. It's cool. Her mom was actually a really, really talented baker. Like everything. Just makes shit up. And like, I want to make this. And she does it. Not how she does it. Like how I'm good at bullshit. She's good at like actual stuff baking the happy face well I'm thankful it's a happy face it's kinda hard to tell when I glance at it either way yep married for one year and hopefully many 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 more she doesn't run away with the dog. Oh my god. She's gonna leave me for the dog. Oh. <laughs> no. I mean, unless he puts him in the will. That is, that is possible. Dark check powers. Pile drive this bastard. It didn't work. Fuck. Okay. It's faster this time. So he was stronger this time, which makes me think. No, it's just the same steps. Fuck. Thought I had stumbled upon something new.
I need a battery to figure, figure shit out. There's no other way to go over there. So I don't really know what to... Twenty-three followers away from. Uh. Oh wait, yeah, it's a stupid rock thing. I thought I made it up though, cause I got to that weird machine. I'm Twenty-three followers away from being able to Not apply, but yeah, there you go. Eligible. That's the word. There are them words. People like to use so much. Yeah, I like Wolf for affiliate. I'm glad I need... I have the hours, I have the days. I just need the followers. I need... I need... I need followers and I need average viewers to be at least three. Which is kind of hard because sometimes I stream at weird ass times. Sometimes I have like zero followers and I'm streaming at like... Well, 4 a.m. on an Easter Sunday. Oh yeah, Joe, the news is already really, really sad. Yeah. Probably look it up because I don't want to talk about it on stream. Okay. Go find out at work. Damn it! Well, I guess I'll talk about it. I'm afraid. Just didn't want to bum everybody out. I'll mention it quickly. Already tweeted about it. There was a terrorist attack in Sri Lanka. Eight bombings. Churches and hotels. I think 200 people. Well, that's the last casualty before I saw was 200 people. So that was dead bad. They were targeting Christians and foreigners. I hope they get as much support as Notre Dame. Because they actually need it, Notre Dame didn't. Sad that the damn thing caught on fire. But I'm pretty sure they had enough money to, to rebuild it. I don't think the Vatican or. Yeah, it would be the Vatican that'd be in charge of that. It's the Catholic Church. I don't think they're hurting for money. They raised like, like half a billion dollars for that thing. Which I'm 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 glad, but it's like they did it in like a day. And I'm like, man, Flint still has Flint still needs clean water, man. Like And it apparently would cost very little to fix that problem. Some weird shit going on. Yeah, but they're gonna, but they're gonna bring coke and corn pop. So I want the Mexicans to come in. It's great. It's gonna get better. Yeah, I don't call it Coca. You don't call it Coca Cola. Coca. Oh, well, yeah, Mexican Coke, Mexican Coke, yeah. Mexican Coke is delicious. It's the, it's the superior, it's the superior of the Coke products. My God. These stupid rocks are kicking my ass. I'm going to get up there to find out that I've already done all I need to do up there. We gotta protect ourselves from that gang that's in California. Wait a minute. <laughs> that's the most fucked up thing about that. It's like, oh, we can't let this gang, the MS-13, get in here. They're gonna kill us all. And it's like, you know they're from Los Angeles, right? They're already here. It's an American gang. If anything, they should be locking our asses out. We keep sending bad shit over there. Motherfucker. 
motherfucker. <laughs> They are this country. It's us, man. Why well, they got a different flag? Same reason that all the other 50 states in D.C. have a different flag. Have you not seen the Texas one? It's kind of popular. California one that still says Republic on it. The Alabama flag, or it's either Alabama or the Georgia flag, that is just... CSA flag, but with like Alabama on it. <laughs> like we got, it's like ever everybody's got different flags, man. Oh fuck you! I'm not doing this rock shit anymore. <laughs> We're gonna go find another way. Well, they speak a different language. They do in Louisiana as well. I see us trying to leave them. Well, except for that one time. aren't. So your teacher teaching you how to do something you don't know how to do is teaching you in French. Oh, no, 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 no. Here's the thing. This happens to people... This happened to Wooly from the... Well, formerly the Super Best Friends. He went to a French high school. So he was in... He was in a... Uh, uh, Anglo or an English uh, middle school and I, his elementary school is weird because he jumped back and forth between Grenada um, and uh, what I can't remember but then they, they, he went there because Pat was talking about how it's weird how it's like these two different languages and they teach both in, in, in both schools but in the Anglo school as he calls it it's like we teach French but it's it's English because the majority is English speakers. No, 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 it, it's mandatory. This for French and French is normal. I don't have to take Spanish. It's not elective. It, it is a mandatory. But no, no, I, I mean like I mean. So there's French speakers in these schools too. So if someone speaks French in that school because they they're a French speaker and they're not familiar with language uh, English all that much, they'll just be like, oh, okay, and they'll speak in French and they'll help them whatever, and they'll do whatever they can. They'll try to teach them English and just better understand. And 
the French school is according to Wooly. That's not how that shit went down. You spake you spoke French or nothing. Nope, still spoke it French. It's, 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 English, it's French English slash bullshit. But he's like, so imagine having to learn pre-calculus in French, and you don't really know French all that well. And they're mad at you because you're speaking the inferior language. And it's like, it's like, motherfucker, we we could not be farther from France. Like, <laughs> it. It'd be one thing if they helped them and were like, okay, well, this is the French school. Well, you speak English, so we're going to help you. Because like they do in the English school, but the French school, they were not having that shit. Very uppity, apparently. Which, who would have guessed? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much everyone. It's because he loves you. He's giving you your love speech, Mushes. Going over there is not one to go. Going back the way it came. But it's on. It says it's on the mountain. So where the hell? Almost 7.30. Okay. Told you to do that a while ago. Goodness. He loves you. Well, see, when Allie does that, you love on her and hug her, so he sees that and goes, well, I do that. I'll get more love and hugs. Cause he's a smart puppy. And he's a jealous, jealous, jealous puppy. <laughs> a small one. A mobile home. These things are not fucking around. They're trying to kill me. Almost. He's about a single wide. Oh, he's three times taller than Pam. He's 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 only about a foot taller than Mom. There is a difference, believe it or not. Fuck, it really looks like I need to go over there, but... I fucked up and it won't let me... Move the boxes anymore. You can put a kid saddle... Fuck. Put a kid saddle on that dog. Well, he has to grow up. Let's grow up and then you can put kids out on. We have we have a child saddle out there. He'll always be your baby. A little baby puppy. And by little I mean he gon' to he's so big. But he's always gonna act like your baby. Except when he get older he's gonna be slower. So he's not gonna jump on you as hard. Oh my goodness. I do carry him like that sometimes. Pick him up. And he's so happy. He loves being picked up despite being five feet tall. <laughs> like a teenager wanting to be pushed around in a stroller. 
He just loves it so much. Like a baby, like a little child, puts he puts his paws around her, around her neck, and holds on, and then looks around with his tongue out. He's all happy. I need to roll. Maybe I can get it. Fuck. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Maybe I can get it with a roll jump. Oh, that stupid mountain wood in the way. to kill me right there. I guess not, not in my body can touch it. <laughs> Damn. Can I? punch out of a jump because it'll make me pile drive the ground. Kill myself. Damn it, that mountain hadn't been in the way, I would have made it. Here come stupid rocks. Damn. Missed that extra completely. There's no way to get back. Really sucks. Wait a minute. Looks like there's space over here. Does this lead anywhere? few of these things laying around. Oh, maybe if I follow it back. If I follow it back, I might... Maybe that'll lead me somewhere. Maybe it's just to get extras. I think that's all these are, because I haven't... Find a, or found a use for him yet. Nah. Damn. Let's go talk to crew. Let's talk to crew, find lands and mountain temple. I already found the shard. Found the gear, but the lens, I don't have any idea where that would be. I just got attacked by Donald Duck. That's what it sounded like. back and talk to crew. Maybe. Maybe I need something before I get this last piece. It might be might be progression blocked.
Wait a minute. That. Hold on. I haven't. I just died. I haven't been down there. I haven't crossed any kind of water. up ammo even when he's full. I shut I don't waste my good one. Okay. Just gonna fuck me like that. See how that is. I don't waste my good rifle ammo on this stupid bullshit. Shoot the platform, Jack! Oh my god, how do that perception's all messed up. This end. This is the end that looks like there's nothing underneath it, so just drop down. Well. Oh, why does it the beginning? What the fuck? Look here. There's straight up an opening to it. Down on this. something I'm missing. Actually, this... This looks oh. like it moves. Or it looks like it would move. Look around. Just here getting all the orbs. Uh, let's follow this 
back and then here I am above it. But not completely above. I'm just kind of above the door. Is there anything else that leads up or around? so I know I can get there eventually at some point in time. I have to get there. Get to the edge here. I want to see if there's anything below here that I can land on. No, I'm just where I fight that beast. Hmm. on multiple of these towers. How do I know that this is... For standard reason it's the same tower. One would assume. Hold on, has there just been another door here this whole time? I'm stupid. We've been doing that the whole time. Why are these damn things are so long? I'm Shoot the idiot. platform, Jack. Oh shit! I almost lost it. Okay, now that I know where I'm going, maybe. strategy did not work. Why does it keep putting me back here? I still don't understand how to accurately uh, fight those guys. I'm pretty sure what I'm doing is wrong. Not just that I'm dying. Way if I do it with a win, I get hit. Where I'm supposed to go, because those actually have their shit. Fish oil supplements. Get that ammo. Fuck. 
I really don't know what to do. All right, Ronan. I will see you later then. I don't know how long ago that was. Do that. I'm going to take a small break of about 15-20 minutes to go use the restroom. I'm just going to shut the stream down, and I'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> 